हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस तो टुडे यू कैन सी दैट आवर टॉपिक इज नेगेटिव सीक्वेंस रिले सेटिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी मोस्टली डिस्कसिंग ऑन द नेगेटिव सीक्वेंस रिले फॉर मोटर्स ओके एंड ऑल्सो द नेगेटिव सीक्वेंस रिले इज ऑफन रेफर्ड एज अनबैलेंस करेंट रिले ओके सो डोंट गेट कॉन्फ्यूज बोथ द रिले आर सेम so let's begin the video we will in this video we will see that how the relay what are the percentage of settings and what are the reason behind those settings okay so let's begin the video okay so negative sequence relay has some features number 1 it detects the unbalanced current okay so unbalanced current can occur or negative sequence current can flow under two condition okay number 1 is if there is a line to line fault or one phase is open circuit and remember that zero sequence uh, ct z ct or cb ct cannot detect negative sequence although someone uh, it may be referred as unbalanced ct uh, but it cannot detect the unbalanced current uh, the negative sequence component okay so now we will see that how the line to line fault and one phase uh, open circuit is uh, analogical okay so here you can see that if there is one phase uh, open circuited or there is a line to line fault between the two other phases in both the cases uh, current in the third phase is zero and current is flowing through one phase and uh, returning to another phase so these are the two conditions when they are Uh, the negative sequence current can flow okay so now we will see that how the motor characteristics is and how the relays are set now another thing to be remembered that for a line to line fault the percentage of negative sequence component is 58% that is 1 by root 3 times and for a phase to ground fault the same is about 33% that is 1 by 3 uh, times so our relay setting will be such that we can detect this kind of uh, negative sequence so the maximum settings allowable settings is 30% you have to set the negative sequence relay below 30% of the uh, full load current okay so that the uh, negative sequence occurred during single phase fault uh, ground fault is uh, detected so here you can see that i have drawn a typical characteristics of a motor thermal withstand uh, negative sorry negative sequence withstand uh, characteristics so here you can see that the uh, graph starts from 15% of full load current so below 15% the negative sequence current can be withstood co constantly by the motor okay that is that is a typical graph for make you understand of the uh, situation so the negative sequence component is a inverse time uh, characteristics so you have to keep the relay in such a way that it trips before it go beyond to the uh, safe zone or withstand uh, zone of the uh, our uh, motor i have taken a two element uh, negative sequence relay here so first uh, say set, set is 461 and the second set is 462 now purpose of taking two element setting is that the first one the 461 will be used for say our <coughs> uh, say alarm purpose and the second one will be used for tripping purpose uh, you can uh, use both the uh, functions as uh, tripping purpose also you can use one function also one definite time characteristics also you can use inverse time characteristics also <coughs> so we will be explaining the system with a, a definite time characteristics now as you can see that 15% of full load current is the uh, starting point of the graph so it is understood that the motor can withstand uh, uh, negative sequence current con continuously when the negative sequence current is less than 15% of its full load current so suppose we are assuming that we will let the negative sequence relay component 1461 will be picked up when there is a 10% of Mm, uh, full load current okay so we will use this for mm, alarm purpose and we have we have to set a certain uh, amount of time delay as this is a definite time delay and we have to make sure that uh, this uh, relay curve lies below the negative sequence withstand characteristic so whenever setting the negative sequence relay you have to check the uh, negative sequence withstand characteristics okay 
so suppose for uh, calculation simplification we under, we assume that the um, full load current is 100 ampere and the ct ratio of the uh, particular motor is 100 by 1 ampere so pickup of 46 by 1 will be 10 percent of 100 ampere that is 0.1 into in okay and pickup of 46 by 2 we have selected less than 30 percent because as i have explained earlier that for a single phase to ground fault uh, the um, component 30 uh, sorry the negative sequence component is 33 percent so we will be uh, keep the negative sequence pickup relay below 33 percent or 30 30 percent so so that in earth fault the negative sequence generated can also be detected and isolated so that will give you additional level of protection now if there is a line to line fault then the negative sequence component will be 58 percent so that will be also detected by this setting so for uh, 46 by 2 we have selected a setting of 25 percent so there the setting will be 0.25 into in so that is why you can uh, that is how you can select the relay setting time delay i have not shown here because i do not have the actual graph i have just used this uh, template of graph for uh, make you understand now you have to check that what is the time uh, for which the motor can withstand the negative sequence current so you have to make sure that the time delay shall be such that it detail it isolates the uh, relay before it's go beyond its withstand uh, duration withstand capability curve okay so that is that is the fundamental of this uh, relay setting you can use uh, negative uh, sorry you can use inverse time characteristics also for making uh, coordination but uh, uh, selecting a definite time characteristics is okay because when there is a negative sequence current is flowing there is no meaning of uh, keeping the motor in circuit so we can isolate it as early as possible okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and also please hit the bell icon to get latest notifications of our video thank you very much for watching this video